So is I.G. Farben. I assure you World War II existed. I assure you Hitler existed. I assure news hounds that this isn't a joke. You know, people always make fun of the Germans who didn't believe that Hitler had death camps. And that's why the generals made the Germans pile up the dead bodies themselves and burn them, the local townsfolks who were in denial. I, I, I believe that they didn't think it was going on. I mean, CPS here in Austin kidnaps hundreds of children every week and takes them to facilities where they admittedly rape them, and they're five to seven times more likely to be abused. And it comes out in the news all over the country. Pedophiles run these facilities, and no one gets in trouble. And then and, and the general public's in denial about that. I mean, you've got rape camps. Uh, I mean, half the prisons around Austin have been shut down, and new companies have gotten the contracts because they, they, they film porno movies raping the kids and women at them. There'll be a blurb in the newspaper about it. I mean, we're living in the middle of a nightmare. But it's been incrementally kind of a background noise of tyranny and death and genocide and soft kill weapons slowly being turned up to now it's at a just a huge bellowing cacophony of sound and corruption and murder and tyranny and people can't even hear the tyranny, it's so loud. We're going to break down the eugenics and the master plan after this quick break, get into the latest developments. This is key information. Stay with us. The globalists are counting on being so bold, so over the top, so outrageous, drugging your food, your water, putting poisons and toxins in the air by design as Holdren's now in the AP and Reuters. By the way, we finally found a video of him at that science conference. No one had it. I, I was up here till 1 in the morning, and the guys were up here even later, so they're not here. The minute that Watson and Aaron come in, are they in yet? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Rob and Aaron, Watson isn't in this office. Watson's writing the articles. The minute they get in, send that to Watson. In fact, I meant to put that on your desk. Will you call them and see when they're getting in? I want to play that during this hour before things uh, run out of time. You know, that's the problem here going over this evidence is there's just so much. I don't just have AP and Reuters with Holdren saying spray the atmosphere with aluminum dioxide and barium salts that cause all these degenerative brain diseases like Alzheimer's. I now have a video of him at the press conference. It's just totally insane. All of it is just totally insane. It's all off the charts. Um, okay, let me just go over the basic facts here. The mindsets of these people. Some of the documents you want to read are State Department Memorandum 200, United Nations Biological Diversity Assessment, 90, 1996. Uh, books written by people like Holdren, Ecoscience, Population, Resources, and Environment. If I Was an Animal, written by His Royal Highness, the Duke of Edinburgh. Uh, books written by Jacques Cousteau, books written by Ted Turner, statements by Ted Turner saying kill 80% of the useless feeders, uh, statements by Hitler. I also put into the record Mein Kampf or My Struggle uh, by Adolf Alois Hitler. He talks about it all there and thanks American eugenicist and lists them by name saying that their books are his Bible and that he hails the United States as true source of uh, encouragement. We get all the credit. And I just want to tell news hounds and others attacking me, Hitler existed, even if you say he didn't. What well, Hitler did existed. And giggling, yuppie, smirking about this doesn't change it. Okay. There's just a few of the sources. Uh, Paul Watson's 18-page report. Also, the other report, Obama science are planned to sterilize population through water supply already happening. We'll put that up on screen for you as well uh, here at PrisonPlanet.tv. Here are some of the notes I wrote before I went on air of just, just areas I want to discuss dealing with this. History, the flu, the forced flu shots, how that ties into that. How we're under a microscope, how we're basically lab rats in this controlled, engineered society under the globalist control. How it's a scientific dictatorship. Some of the top global planners that have been openly talking about killing the majority of us that have gotten attention. How this is so horrible, people have trouble facing it and dealing with it. 
and the mindset of the elites and how in their own internal documents, this has nothing to do with the environment and the earth. They want a manageable group of people to deal with, and it's all part of being the priest of power, deciding who lives and who dies, and exterminating the majority of the world population, including the most intelligent. Unless you're part of the elite families, you are dead. You are to be hunted down and killed. So we will go through all this in the long segment coming up. But I do want to direct everybody to the quotes of John P. Holdren in his government textbook. Forcibly and unknowingly sterilizing the entire population by adding infertility drugs, legalizing compulsory abortions, i.e. forced abortions, carried out against the will of the pregnant women, as is commonplace in communist China, which is funded by the U.S. to do this, where women who have already had one child and refuse to abort the second or kidnap off the street by the authorities before a procedure is carried out to forcibly abort the baby. The babies are then many times actually kept alive and sold for medical experiments and then killed. And people worry about them killing monkeys and apes. Hell, they're, they got babies, baby. Remember, Hitler also thanks in his speeches and books in Mein Kampf the United States for the concentration camp plan adopted from the British of putting people in camps and starving them to death and using bioweapon attacks. Holdren's also part of the Pugwash Society set up by Nobel Prize winning eugenicist Bertrand Russell, where he says we, we, we can't nuke countries when they hit us with bioweapons because the bio attacks will actually be good to reduce our numbers because they're planning to release bioweapons, claim a third world country did it, and they don't want to have a nuclear war that might actually hurt the elite. So they're getting you ready for your death. And Dr. Pianca, I have him here in the quotes, when he got questioned about wanting to kill 90% of us with airborne Ebola in 1996, he said, well, yes, and me and my family are ready to die, too. You know, we're ready to kill ourselves, basically.